Here's, I've got what I got for Christmas and I've just brought all this stuff from downstairs to upstairs and it actually took about like five flights of up and down the stairs. I'll show you guys what I got. I'm so grateful and happy of everything. Like half of this stuff I did not expect to get. So I'm just like so grateful for it all. Okay, so the main present that I got that I was not expecting at all, I was literally so shocked when I opened this, is I got the new iPhone 15 in the pink colour. I'm so happy with this. Like the colour of this is the nicest phone colour ever. Like I've always wanted a pink phone. So it's the baby pink one. I haven't actually set it up yet. So I need to do that in a second. So it comes with all like the charger and everything. So it's got a different charger, I think, to the normal phone. I have the iPhone 14 now. I didn't need an upgrade, but I guess my parents should surprise me. But I love anything pink. Like it matches my nails and everything. And oh, the back's like matte as well. So it's so like, feels so bougie. But yeah, I'm so grateful for this. Like, I had no idea I was getting it. So yeah, I do need to go set that up and get a screen protector on it right away because I've smashed the phone that I have now like twice. So I'm so clumsy, but this one I'm going to keep in the nicest condition I can. Beauty stuff. I did show some of this in my get rid of me, but I'm going to do it again um, and show you more in depth. So I got the Bubble Cloud Surf Water Cream Moisturiser off my sister. She said they've just started doing this in boots, so she wanted to like surprise me. But it's the one with like the little press lid, no like pump thing. And it's actually quite a decent size. I did run out of my Drunk Elephant one and I hadn't had like a little press lid in a while and I can use this again to make like the skincare smoothie. Then from Charlotte Tilbury I got the little pillow talk on the go kit so I'm not going to take it all out but it comes with the like I think it's an eyeliner, a mascara, a lip liner, a blush and the lipstick and I think they're all in the shade pillow talk. And then I was looking on their website and I saw this little palette that I've never seen before. It's called the Blush and Glow Glide Palette and it's in, I don't actually know what shade it's in, but it says fair to medium. And I got this because I didn't have a really good like powder blush or highlight. Like I just used some cheap ones from like drugstores. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury one and oh my God, it's actually gorgeous. Wait, I cannot open anything with these nails. Um, how pretty are them colours? So you've got the highlight and then the blush. I did use it today and you can still see like the highlight on my cheeks. So yeah, I'm super happy with these Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And then from Fenty, I got the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Sweet Mouth. And I'm literally, the colour of this is still on my lips from like two hours ago. But I'm so happy with it. Like look how pretty that colour is. And I just love the consistency of them glosses. Like... It's like kind of sparkly, but not. Like it's the perfect like shine on your lips. Okay, then I got a bunch of stuff from Pandora. So first things I got are some rings. So they came in this little box. Obviously, it just falls out. Um, so I got these two rings. So the first one I got is, my hands keep shaking, but I got this little love heart one that is so pretty. And then I got the little wishbone one that is gorgeous. I love how like sparkly it is. So I'm going to keep like the wishbone one on my middle finger and then the heart one on like one of my smaller ones. I actually got it stuck this morning. But I just love having rings. Like I never wear rings, but I really wanted some for Christmas to wear for like school and stuff. Then I got a Pandora charm bracelet, but it doesn't actually fit me and I'm really sad. I got it in a 16 because my wrists are quite small. But I think I should have got one size up because it doesn't like move on your wrist, which I wanted it to. But anyway, I'm going to go return it and then I'll show you guys it fully but it's the love heart one and then i got three charms to go with it oh, God. these are all like grandparents and my parents so the first thing i got i got the little i don't know what these are but i think they go on to like stop things from falling off so we got two of them in just silver and then i got the little like hand charm that i'm obsessed with because i have a bracelet that matches it it's silver so i can wear them together so i got that charm and then I got the little love heart charm. But this is not my birthstone. I just got a birthstone that was nice. My birthstone's purple and I wasn't like going for the purple bracelet vibe. So I just got a pink one. But yeah, that's everything that I got from Pandora. Okay, next thing I got is the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla Perfume. I got this in the 30ml so I could like try it out and see if it smells nice. And oh my God, it's so nice. It really reminds me of Cloud. But how nice is the packaging, first of all? I just love how like cool it is the spray. And I don't know how to describe the scent, but it's very like, it's more of like a fresher vanilla, not like a, I don't know how to describe like a lighter vanilla scent, but I'm so excited to wear this. Then I got all these Mark Hill hair products. So I really wanted to get into like doing my hair in like the new year and stuff, because I'm really bad at doing my hair. Like all I'll do is either heatless curls or just straighten it. So I've got some tools to try and do my hair nice. So basically what it is, it's like pick and mix. You get the like wand and then you replace it with different heads so i got the pink one they're all baby pink so that's the handle and then i got the round brush you like blowouts with rollers and stuff and then i got the oh my god and then i got the mermaid waver to do like crimps in my hair which to be honest my hair already goes quite crimpy naturally when i like let it dry out the shower 
but I wanted to do it like properly because I love that summer, like the look of that. So yeah, I got all the Mark Hill products. Also, all this stuff's like a mix of like from my grandparents and parents. Most of my stuff is from my parents. And then I just got a Bare Vanilla set because Bare Vanilla is my favourite scent. And I've been surviving off one bottle for like this whole year. So I got the moisturiser and the body spray. And then I got some GHD heat protectant because my hair is so dead on the ends. So I'm like straightening it all the time. So I wanted some good heat protectant to try and like fix those dead ends. So I got the GHD one. So the Solder Genero 40 like deodorant. And I'm probably going to use this. I'm really scared like if this is actually going to keep me like smelling fresh but I feel like I could layer it like put some spray on and then put this on top because at least it'll make me smell of the 40 cent and then I just got this travel size whey perfume because my mum thought it was the full size but it's not but I feel like this is good because then I can like test it out see if I like it and then rebuy it in the big bottle so this is in the scent Melrose Place and I love whey stuff like their hair care smells so nice so it's very like fresh and like florally it's kind of giving me a miss your vibes but i really like it and it's good for like traveling then i got some bits in my room so i got this little clear chair which i can't really show you guys but it's like one of the clear chairs for my vanity and then i got a big fluffy rug that i'm obsessed with but i can't actually put it down yet because my grandparent something's just fallen i can't actually put it down yet because my grandparents are staying in this room for christmas so like there's currently a bed on the floor but i will do an updated room tour everything's falling but i will do an updated room tour when i put that down then off my sister as well she got me a mini just like stanley cup duke and it comes with a little straw i do have a big one but it's like really inconvenient to carry around so i'm glad i've got a smaller one then i just got small bits like nails a little loofah with like a peach on i got some oh my god some bobby pins when i'm doing my hair and buns a uh, beauty blender and then i just got some like hair sets so this is a heatless curl kit and then a set of like a hairbrush, like a blowout brush and a coat. Then my dad ordered these, but he got them in the wrong colour. So I think we're going to return them. But they're still so nice. And I love them. But they're like the Ugg like, you know the low Ugg, they're like the dupes. But they've got like blue writing, which they were supposed to be cream. But I'm going to actually try them on for size to see. And then I might reorder them in like a cream colour. And then for my vanity, it's like so messy because I have loads of different types of organisers. So I saw this video on TikTok of a girl organising her drawers. And she used these organisers. And she had the exact same desk and everything fit in really well. So I got a massive pack of organisers. So at some point this week, I'm going to film a video of me redoing my whole vanity and putting all these like organisers in and refilling my makeup drawers. And then it comes with like little sticky things and they don't move in your drawer. So yeah, I'm really excited to put these all in because there's so many of them. And then I just got some sweets and chocolate. So I got some Santa marshmallows, just like a little selection box. A Terry chocolate orange and a box of Ford's chocolates. These are my favourite, especially the strawberry one. I love that. But yeah, I think that's everything I got. I'm literally obsessed with everything. Hey guys, Christmas haul. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this in two parts. So this is going to be all the skincare and makeup type things. Okay, so first I got two Drunk Elephant sets. I got this one, which is the Lala Retro Moisturizer, which I use literally every day. I got a full-size one and a mini one. And then I also got this set. And they come in these, like, super cute little, like, eco-friendly type pouches. And this one has the Blue Moisturizer. And then it has the Vitamin C serum that you have to, like, make. It has this serum, which is the protein -y serum. I love their packaging. And then a mini bronzy drops, which is perfect because I'm on vacation right now. Okay, next I got four of the one size setting sprays. These are the On Till Dawn setting sprays. And if you've followed me or like seen any of my videos, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with these setting sprays. And I love having minis put in like my travel bags. And my mom knows how much I love it, so she got me four of them. She's so sweet. Okay, next I am insanely excited about this this is the patrick ta eyeshadow palette and look how gorgeous it is <sighs> i already opened it earlier because i was so excited look at it it's so gorgeous oh my god and then also from patrick ta i got the dual ended nose contour brush or i don't know if it's meant for nose contour but that's what i feel like everyone uses it for these brushes are so gorgeous i have the bigger one for like contour and bronzer and i have the contour bronzer duo I'm so excited about this. I've wanted it for so long. Okay, next I got the cookie highlighter and I've wanted this for a while. I just never really pulled the plug and bought it. It is so pretty. I'm so excited to try it out. Love it. Then I got this Merit Beauty Minimalist and it's like, I think the concealer and this is what it looks like. I love their packaging. It's so cute. Also, like, sorry if the lighting and everything is really rough. I'm in Florida right now and I'm not like home with my vanity. Okay, next I got the House Labs by Lady Gaga Lip Trio, and 
look how cute these lip oils are they're so mini they're so adorable oh my god i'm so excited to try them next i got two touchland hand sanitizers i'm in florida right now and you can't get these in canada i don't know why or like i guess they don't sell them at like sephora so you can't get them so i got two and i'm gonna put one in my car when i get home and this pink one i think it's like berry scented it's my favorite they smell so good then i got an elf power grip primer and i have the green one but this one's a niacinamide one and i really want to try it out i also got a new refi brow gel i love revised brow gel it's like my favorite brow gel ever it never flakes it's like incredible it's so good this is a refill because mine's almost out so i'm not gonna open it yet but love it then i got the kiali perfume set this is the vanilla one number 28 i actually haven't opened it yet i've smelled it in the store though it comes with a full size and then also like a little travel size and it smells so good and so good for the winter then i got some sets first i got the tatcha skincare set this is what it comes with. I love the moisturizer. I've been using it every single night and it's been so good on my skin. It's like so rich and like creamy. That's what it looks like. And the cutest thing about this is honestly the packaging because the top has a cute little spoon that you can use to scoop out the moisturizer in it. And then it also comes with the cleanser and the dewy serum. Oh, and it also comes with this little like pouch in it. Okay, then I got this Sol de Janeiro mini set, and it comes with four mini scents. It comes with 62, 68, 40, and then the Rio Radiant. And I just love the mini sizes because you can put them anywhere, like for my beach bag while I'm on vacation and stuff like that. Like, super cute. I think these are just so perfect for vacation because they're small enough you can bring them with you places, and they're just really tropical vacation vibes. Then I got this Sephora Favorites lip kit, and this is so good. First things first, it has my favorite lip gloss ever. It's the Patrick Ta, what even is it? It's the Major Volume Plumping Gloss in the shade 2cc's. This is my favorite lip gloss ever, like ever. And it comes in it, full size, and it comes with a full size Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is my favorite lip liner. It also comes with a Glossier lip gloss, a Rare Beauty lip, like I think it's a liquid, liquid lipstick. It comes with a mini Tarte Juicy Lip. It comes with, I'm not sure what this one is, but another lipstick and then another lip liner. And this cute little pouch. I think that's like such a good deal and such a good thing if you want to like try out any lip products or if you love lip products like I do. Then I got this ginormous package of beauty blenders. Then these were some stocking stuffers. This is my all-time favorite makeup remover. It gets your makeup off so quickly, especially waterproof mascara. This is one of the mini makeup erasers, and these are like reusable makeup wipes for your face. I have big ones, but I wanted a mini one. They're so good for getting makeup off, and you can like wash them and reuse them. Then a mini native deodorant, and then lastly, like these little perfume things where you can put your perfume in here to take the traveling. And then the last thing is a facial. My mom got me a gift certificate to go get a facial. Hey guys, here's my long-awaited Christmas and birthday haul of 2023. I wanted to start off by saying how extremely grateful I am for everything that I got and a lot of you guys wanted me to do a video like this, so let's get into it. And all my gifts are from my family and friends. So the first thing that I got are three Fenty Beauty lip glosses. Then I got this pink brush. I love how it's curved so that when you brush your hair, it kind of gets like everything. I also got the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I'm filming on right now. I got this black Aritzia crew neck along with this black knitted short sleeve and I have both of them coming in white in the mail which I will put right here. I also have these cargo pants which are coming in the mail as well. I got three lip sleeping masks from Bath & Body Works so this one is Twisted Peppermint, Champagne Toast, and Vanilla. I also got two lip scrubs. These two Goshen body butters. What I love about this is how it's so shimmery. From Tiffany & Co, I got the double heart pendant necklace in pink and oh my gosh i've been wanting this for so long and the fact that i'm wearing it right now is just <sighs> i got this really pretty heart necklace from swarovski and this rose gold and pink bracelet i got this pink lululemon define jacket and i am obsessed with the color and i'm so excited to wear this i got the mario badescu rose lip balm as well as this pink skull lip balm a dr jart face mask i got the daily oil wash from glossier and i also got a pump with it these kate spade earrings I got these Fortnum and chocolates, which I've already eaten. I got this little purse and I am so obsessed with it. It is so fuzzy. I got this cute little elephant jelly cat. I love how soft this feels and it's just so cute. I got the white fleece Lululemon belt bag. These plaid ruffle shorts from Airy. And these flared crossover leggings from Airy as well. I got this Alfred Eden hoodie and it has this huge star in the back and these little stars on the hood and I think it's so cute. This was from Lash Therapy Australia and they sent me their growth serum mascara. 
and their Lash Growth Serum. This one is from Laneige. I got their Heavenly Hydration Kit, their Starlet Lip Mask Trio, their Lip Glowy Balm in Peppermint, and this cozy blanket that says Laneige on it. An eyelash curler, a cute little Starbucks keychain. I also got some gift cards and some money. And Welcome to my Christmas of 2023 haul. I'm not doing that whole like stupid introduction because I think it's dumb. This isn't everything because I haven't gone over to my boyfriend's family's house and they always spoil me so much and it's like two Christmases, but it's pretty much everything I've gotten so far. So let's go. I'm a sock girl and here's the first thing we got are these cutie little thermal socks. And then I got a diamond necklace. It looks just like this. And this is actually an heirloom because she got this when she was 18 for Christmas. Then I got the Makeup by Mario Shaping Stick in the shade Dark Deep. A gift card to Starbucks, of course. <laughs> Anthropology Lip Oil. Some chocolate caramel truffles. Some of these like weren't like wrap presents. They were my stocking stuffers. Um, so yeah. And then I'm really excited about this because I'm moving in the spring or in the summer. And I got these little racks that you put on the back of your door and you can like hang bags, belts, coats, you name it. So I asked for this as well. Fat oil in the shade uh, Fold. And the Charlotte Tilbury Elf dupe in the shade Medium Tan. I got a Ray Dunn little necklace that says my initial on it. Super duper cute. And then like I said before, I'm getting my own little place and I got a $50 Ikea gift card because I'm pretty much gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna get like a new bed. I'm gonna get new furniture, new everything. So this is a must. <laughs> Another stocking stuffer. Okay, Santa. Um, these are the Pringle dupes. Then I got another Starbucks gift card. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my account right now. Ooh, I got a Modern Expressions candle. This smells insane. And all my family and friends know that I'm a crazy candle girl, so more the merrier. Then I got some Reese's miniature cups. Again, just stocking stuffers. I got some LA Colors liquid eyeshadow shimmer. Um, this will be my mom. This will be my mom. Then I got a pack of the EOS chapstick, and this stuff is so good. It's grapefruit. Oh my gosh, I want to just kiss my own lips. Then I got another beauty blender, which I love. A lovely gift of cash for my mom and dad. And then I got a TG Max Marshalls Home Goods Sierra and Home Sense gift card, and oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> my freaking jam. And then last up, I got a Tyler High Maintenance set. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about this, but it is amazing. I got a mini laundry detergent smell. <gasps> it's a candle, which comes with like a little candle holder. These scented laundry sachets. These are so, so good for cl like clean, good smelling clothes. And then last but not least, I got the candle in the bigger size and I'm obsessed. And also one of my best friends got me a Skims dress, but you guys have seen it in my previous videos. Merry Christmas. Let's do a haul of everything I got this year. Obviously, if you don't want to watch a Christmas haul video, skip this video if it's going to annoy you. This is everything I got from like my mom, my boyfriend. And I'm going to try to fit this all into one part and not talk too much. But obviously, I am very grateful and thankful. This always feels like too much, but I just want to show you guys because these videos are fun. And if you need inspiration on how to spend your Christmas money, these are good to watch. Let's start with what I'm wearing because I got this Hazel Boutique hoodie and sweatpant matching set for Christmas. Um, has like a little logo design on the back, but it's so thick and heavy, I love it. And then the other thing are these earrings from Alexa Lee that I put on, but they came in this little dust bag, but I love all of her jewelry. The other jewelry thing I got is this Spinelli ring. I'm not really sure how you pronounce the second word. Here is the ring on. I'm definitely gonna wear this today too, but moving on to shoes. I got these Uggs that I wanted really bad last year and they were sold out every year and my boyfriend found them on Poshmark this year. New balance sneakers that I have been dying. These are actually the kids version, but they're the New Balance 530. More sneakers. I wanted these really bad and they obviously sold out, but my boyfriend got them on Flight Club. But they're the Wales Bonner, hopefully I'm saying that, New Balance collab, the like cheetah print ones. I think these are the last pair of shoes, but they are these boots from Flattered. They're obviously like a dupe for the row, but the quality on these is amazing. I already have them in like a dark brown. 
and I wear them a ton, so I love the light color. Here is some of the stuff from my stocking, but extra gum. This perfume, which I smelled in the Buck Mason store in Pittsburgh or in Swickley the other day. Um, literally amazing. First time trying this brand and it just smells so good. And then lastly are my favorite socks, the TNA Aritzia socks. I'm actually wearing them right now, but they're like the ankle crew base ankle sock version. This is so cute. My boyfriend gave me this. It is both of my cat's paw prints on like a little photo frame. I just love it so much. Like my little baby cat, his little fat paw, and then my older cat, his paw is like bigger. It's so cute. I got one of these really cute, it's like an antique box. It's from a store in Sewickley, again, called Twin Pine. Um, but I think I'm gonna put all my perfumes in here. And then also for like my desk closet room that I'm trying to eventually redo. But this mirror from Anthropology, it's so pretty and it matches this box perfect. So I can't wait to set these two things up. Got a little bit of makeup. This is the Summer Friday Skin Tint, which is amazing. And then also like a little mini pillow talk. I did already open this one, um, but it's a little skincare set. There was like a face wash thing there. And then these are like little cuffs that you put on your wrist. So when you wash your face, the water like doesn't drip down your arm. So these are amazing. My aunt got me this little peanut keychain because she, that was like always been her nickname for me. So this is so cute. I got a label maker to like print out shipping labels because I'm going to be doing something soon that I'm going to be needing this a lot for. I had this on this morning already, but it is this robe from Hill House that I've been wanting for so long. I'm such a robe girl and this one is so pretty. I'm going to try to get through all of the clothes, but I got this little t-shirt with two kitties on it and it, they're in these boots and it says Meowdy Partner. These are like Brandy Melville striped pants. I'm obsessed with these. I don't know if they're like pajama pants or regular pants, but I'll probably wear them as regular pants. This sweater, which I am obsessed with. It's from a brand called Luna, Lunia, I'm reading it backwards, but it is like so thick. It has the cutest collar and then like a big whip stitch on the side. Vintage Levi's that are like the perfect wash. They're perfectly baggy. I can't wait to wear these but they are they say that they're other oh, five of fives and then the waist on them is a 31 and then 34 length this stuff is all fabletics and i love fabletics and i always try to work out more in the new year so i got this green it's almost like a leathery looking material set with matching leggings and then these are literally my favorite pants i have them in another color from fabletics but they're these like cargo-y pants they're just like casual, I work out in them, I wear them around, but they are super long. So if you're tall, they make amazing pants. And then to match that, it's just like a little brown twisty front sports bra. This is the end, the rest is all purses, but the first one is this little pink satiny one from J. Crew. Then we have this shearling coach bag, which I am so obsessed with. I've been wanting this for so long. So I can't wait to use this. And then we have a green coach bag. I love this color and I love the gold hardware. Lastly, another coach bag. And this is the one that I'm debating because I got the Sherling one and it's like the same shape, but it is different. So let me know what you think I should do. 